Good morning. Good to uh, welcome back everybody. We're going to begin now a mimer. This is a mimer. It's Parshas Nitzavim, um, and it's also it's connected to Rosh Hashanah, as we'll see very soon. This mimer was said Parshas Nitzavim from the Alter Rebbe Chof Ches Elul in the year Tov Kuf Samach Beis. Now, as we mentioned a few times, that the Alter Rebbe had different manigim, different uh, people that were sorry manichim that would actually. Um, this, uh, subscribe the mimer and put it down, write it down the way they understood it. So um, this mimer that the Tzadok Tzadok put into the Kutiteda is the Hanukkah of the Maharil, which is the Alter Rebbe's uh, brother. Now there's different uh, Nuschois as well. You have from the Middle Rebbe, and you have from the, the, the Alter Rebbe's son Ramesha. But this Hanukkah that Alter Rebbe put, that the Tzemach Tzedek put, the Haggah is from the Mariel. Okay, let's begin. At and it's of Mayim Kulchem. It says in this week's parish in the beginning that Moshe Rabbeinu was saying, At and it's of Mayim. You are standing today, Kulchem, all of you. And the Torah enumerates the different uh, people, the different Yidden that are standing today. Now, Alter Rebbe says, Hine Parsha Zoi Kerin Leilim Kerin Rosh Hashanah. This parish is always read. The Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah. Always read Nitzavim. Now, in the usually in, in the parsha when it says Atun Nitzavim Hayyim, means today. The Meishu Rabbeinu is saying you're standing today, but Hayyim also is referring to the Koyal Reish Hashanah. That when we say the day Atun Nitzavim Hayyim, Meishu Rabbeinu is saying that you're standing today, the day of Rosh Hashanah. The Koyal Rosh Hashanah, which is going on Rosh Hashanah, explains that on Rosh Hashanah it's the beginning of your work, the day that Hashem created the world. Zikarin, when we say remember the Yom Rishon, the first day. So Rosh Hashanah, when we say Yom, it's referring to as we see that Hayom Chilas Maasecha is referring to Rosh Hashanah, which is the Nusach we say on the Musaf of Rosh Hashanah. Explains that all the sparks of the neshamas are standing and they're elevated to the source on the day of Rosh Hashanah until the day, the level of Havaya. So we say you're standing today. What does that mean? That means that you're standing on Rosh Hashanah and all the yidin on Rosh Hashanah are elevated to Adafne Havaya. Now, we say, we enumerate Roshechem Shiftechem, the heads of your tribe, Mechaitiv Itzecha, from the water carriers, Atcheyev Mimecha, to your water drawers. Peyde, Takos, and Esim, Adegas, the Torah enumerates ten different levels, ten different Yidin, which are ten different levels. Shekamay Shish, Esim, Adegas, Benev, Vesha, Odom, just like we have ten levels in the soul of a person, the Hainu. What does that mean? Gimel, Sichle, Mizayim, Midas, a person has three intellect. And seven emotions. A person has chacham bin adas. Chesed words first. Netzachad you say malchus. So this is the three uh, intellectual, and then you have the seven emotions. So just like every person functions this way. Kachi nikol yisrael and kaima achashleima. So to all the yidden, they're all one like posture. They're all one kaima. Uklalis nishamis nishamis say and nikra of knesses yisrael. And the general nishamis of the yidden are called knesses yisrael. Which means shenechlek ala esem adegas that the yidden were called Knesset Yisrael, and just like every single yid is divided into has ten, ten different uh, functionalities that he can express himself through. So too the yidden in general are divided into ten different types of yidden, and that's what the Torah is enumerating. Roshechem shiftechem mechetiv etzach atshem mimecha. Rosh Hashanah misalim kolam adegas. On Rosh Hashanah we elevate all the levels. In other words, all the yidden. Even the lowest uh, part of the Eden, the water, the, the wood choppers, and the water drawers. They are the lowest levels. To bring all these Eden uh, back to their source. So that's what it means. You're standing today. Today is Rosh Hashanah. And uh, on Rosh Hashanah, we have the ability, um, like the Al-Tareb is going to explain soon, through Achtos. To bring up all the levels of the Yidden from Rosh Hashem Shiftechem to Chaytev Yitzchak Hashem Yimecha. 
זהו, ויהי בישולין מלך בסאסי וראשי רום. יחד שבטי ישראל, and this is what it means, when we say in the parashat says a bracha, ויהי בישולין מלך, when you gather, יחד שבטי ישראל, what does that mean? So he explains. Peter, what does that mean? שכולם מסעסים יחד, יש אחד לאחד עם כאחד. All the Yidden are gathered to become one. כי זהו כלל גודל, this is a great כלל. וכל דאוס, מיסי של קדושה, הוא בבחינת נועץ, סייפה מתחילה, anything that comes from the side of קדושה, it's the level of, like we say, the beginning is wedged in the end. Which means, שאין לו בבחינת רויש וסייפה, that there's no beginning and there's no end. הוא בבחינת עיגולים, this is the level like a circle, שנמשך מבחינת סייפה קולאמן, which is drawn from the level of סייפה קולאמן. So, and this is why the Pirkavis tells us, what does it say? You should be humble in front of all men. Because every Yid has um, something that the other Yid doesn't have. And every Yid really needs the other Yid to be complete. And it comes out, every Yid has a advantage over the other. So, why does it, what does it mean when Or how is it possible to be humble and uh, in front of every man is when you realize and contemplate that every single person has something that you can gain from and you really don't, uh, you're not, uh, not every, uh, his mila is your chesaran and your chesaran is his mila. So, uh, through thinking and contemplating into these terms, a person can come and have real shvaruach. Commercial Adam, and this is like the marshal of a person. So every yid has, every person has, he has a head and he has a feet. So even though the feet of a person is at the lowest level, and the head is the highest part of the body, there is an advantage over the feet, from the feet, over the head, even though physically the feet is the lowest uh, level. Which uh, you, your feet you use to walk. They also stand the body and the head. When a person has a headache, so part of the... Uh, the, 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 in the olden days, the way to heal, the process to heal, was that they would take out blood uh, from the feet, even though a person is sick in the head. And he would receive chayas from it. So what comes out from this muscle? You can't, <coughs> the head is not complete without the feet. So he says, So to all the Yidin, Yidin are all one, even though a person will think that, you know, me, Mitzad, my friend, I'm the level of, uh, of a Reish, I'm much higher than him. So you should know how to aim, a person is not complete without his friend. So it comes out that he has a concern in his head, and <coughs> in, his, in his soul, which his friend will complete it. So it comes out that through this he'll become bottle and low the gabe his friend um, um, without finding a race for safe. And through this bitl you're able to uh, to um, become combined and to bring the Ashros of the Ebrister without a head, uh, a beginning and end. And, and, and. If a person is going to think to himself that he is really higher than his friend, and then he becomes uh, he becomes a head and there's there's ends and and it differentiates it separates. So then he falls into the level of the the separated worlds. Which come from Sitra Acha. Now, <coughs> Rosh Hashanah is the level, what is, what is the Aved of Rosh Hashanah? 
There's many Abedas, but one of the Abedas is, is to do, is the tshuva of the general Nishami Sisron, to return them back to their Makar. And this is what it means when all the Rashi Am are gathered. So the level of Rosh, that's the level of Machshava. Rashi Am, what does it mean, the heads of the nation? This is the general Machshavas of the Yidin. Which they gathered from the 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 Alma de Prudo. So what's the Aveda is you're taking all these uh, people that were born from Alma de Prudo and you're bringing them back uh, into the Rishus Yachid. This is also the explanation of Shema Yisrael. Shema Lashon Asifa. Shema is the gathering Malashon of Yishma Yishama Shol. So what the Alta Rebbe said in Aleph, what does it mean? Atim Nitzav Mayim Kulchem. It means that we always read this parsha before Rosh Hashanah. What's the connection? This parsha before Rosh Hashanah. The parsha is Nitzav. So he says Hayoyim. That's going on Rosh Hashanah. So Atim Nitzav Mayim. You're standing the day of Rosh Hashanah. Kulchem, all of you. And the Torah enumerates Rosheichem, Shivteichem, Chetav Eitzach, Hashem Meimecho, which is ten different types of Yidden. So just like every Yid, every person functions with Gimel. Um, Seichel and Zayin made this. So too, the the Klolis, Neshama Yisrael, Yisrael, Knesset Yisrael are divided into ten, um, and that's the idea of, that from Chayte Veitzecha to the level of Rashiachem Shevtechem, and um, the the um, idea is is that we want to unite everybody together. And this is what we say in Parshas Eisah Brachov as Vehivi Shuli Melach Besas of Rashiachem Yachad Shevtei Yisrael. All the Yidden um, gather. Uh, when all the Yidin gather uh, and become Achdos together, it's the idea of no Cholos and Mesefran, there's no head, there's no end. Um, everyone is all together. We're all one, we're all one um, team together. And this is what it means to have a Shvar Ruach with Nekal Adam, that every single Yid, um, how is it possible for a person to feel like a Shvar Ruach by his friend? So when he realizes that he really needs the other person to be complete, like for example the feet and the head that a person's head is not complete without the feet even though the feet is the lowest level but a person if he has a kovid reish or a person needs to go he needs the feet to be complete so to every single yid even though if somebody will look at himself that he's really higher than his friend but he should know that he cannot be complete without his friend and through that he'll have a proper vittel and then then um, they can have the ashras of the ebishter from Sitra Kedusha without the Rosh Vesef. Mashenkin, if somebody uh, holds highly of himself, so then he starts uh, getting into the world of Alma de Pruda, and that's the idea of Rosh Hashanah, is the um, tshuva of you bring all the neshamas back to the source, and be sasa Rosh Okay, yeah, that's, that's uh, what we said now. Now, base. Ah, derech prat, so, when you go into the specifics, echu derech ha'yichud, First of all, how can you unite everybody together? And what's this idea of tshuva, of, uh, of repenting? So first of all, what is realistically, how does yichud work? Number two is, what's the idea of tshuva? And number three, So what does the Pasuk say? You pass through the covenants. So the Pasuk says, then we say, and then we say, La Obracha Bibris. It's in Pasuk Yeralf. La Obracha Bibris. What does that mean? Vainyan. So the Alta Rebbe explains, Kamayla Marshal Shnei of Im Shikarsim Bis Benim Shlei Tifsik Avas. I'm just like you have two people who love each other. So they make a covenant with 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 uh, each other that uh, their their love is never going to cease. They're always going to have this love. Shailu Hayo Hadavar Shavat Luya Boy Kaim Laad. Now, if they had this love that whatever, however they became uh, friends or they became um, very good friends, lovers. Um, so Kozman, this love, whatever, however they bonded together is Kayim. So they don't really need to have a crisis bris between, between them. Since they're scared that perhaps one day this love that they now have uh, between each other is very uh, might cease. Maybe something 
externally will cause that their Ava is not there anymore. So what do, what do we do? Through this Krisis Bris, their Ava is going to be everlasting. They will never cease. And it will ne- nothing will ever stop, stop them. Nothing can get in the way. Why can nothing get in the way? Because they have this Krisis Bris. Now he says, Because they make a very strong bond between each other. Because they, they unite and they connect with a love, with a, a strong Kesher higher than Tamadas. Even though uh, when they think um, intellectually or they look at a on a piece of paper, so now it makes a lot of sense that their love uh, that they. Uh, the, now it stops and, and it causes a sinna. So when a person has a certain friendship, and that friendship is based on a, 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 an agenda or based on, on something that they like uh, each of each other, and then that stops, so al it makes sense that there should be a sinna. al nevertheless, what's the crisis breeze? What does it do? Because of the crisis breeze, so now their love is forever. And, and like the pasuk says in Mishlei, and all uh, like all sins, the Ava covers over. Now, if you should now he explains because the fish should because they made this precious uh, bris that they're mamish one person. Just like a person can never stop loving himself. So too, through this precious bris, he'll never stop loving his friend. That's what the Torah calls it. That's why we use the expression "krisas bris," a covenant of a bris. It says that they that they that they made a covenant by the eagle by Yavru ben Psarov, as it says in Yirmiyah. Says a bris asher korsu lefnei eagle asher korsu shnayim by Yavru ben Psarov. Could I know what does that mean? The shnayim Avram b'sich b'sich guf echad yis lachar, and they all go. Um, with one body to to um, to become one. So that's the idea of a crisis bris. The crisis bris is, it doesn't matter what the idea is, it doesn't matter what what the, the difference is or what the issue is or what even if their ava is not there anymore. But because they made this crisis bris, it's like a covenant that they're always going to stick together. So the Rebbe says that the Rebbe says So this marshal is very apropos to the Ebrister. What do we say in Parshas Kisisa? He ne anoichi kredes a bris. I'm making a bris with you. Nega kol amcha ase niflois. What does it mean? I'm making a I'm making a kredes bris with you. Nega kol amcha ase niflois. What does it mean, Peter? So the the the, the Alter Rebbe touches up that the Hashem is saying that the Eibushter is making a kredes bris the milem and atam with us higher than any understanding. However, David the Yehoneson, like David says to Yehoneson in Shmuel Beis. Uh, this is in Shmuel Beis Aleph Chavav says Nifli Asa Avascha. What does that mean? Through the Yud Gimel Sarachim, the Meishin Rabbeinu Alav Shalom was Mamshir Nasa Kiviyachol Krisus Bris Viskashos Hakadosh Baruch Hu Yisrael that the Yid now become they have a Krisus Bris with the Eibushter Eres Ava to arouse this Ava V'Solachta Choli Shlayav Neisechem Avdilim that their sins should not separate between the Eden and Hashem, ki chedek Hashem, amay. So what we said in Beis is, is that the Alter Rebbe says, what's, how do we understand this Yichud, what's Tshuva, what's Sefer Stavka Rosh Hashanah? So he explained that just like the Marshal, there's when you have two lovers that uh, make a Christmas bris between them, they make that they're going to, that their love is never going to stop, even though Apiteva, Apisecha makes sense that the love should stop. Why? Because they, uh, whatever bonded them together is not there anymore. But, um, because of this crisis bris, whatever the situation is, they stick together. So that's what it means. We're saying the Ebrister, crisis bris, what does that mean? That Hashem says, that, that the love that we have between each other is higher than time with us. And this is the Yud Gimel the Sarachim, the Meshach Abinu uh, 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 drew down that uh, made this Christmas bris to uh, the Ebrister, 
to be married the Ava that um, the sin should not uh, separate us between us and Hashem. Gimel. Vehinei Razal. The Gemara Rosh Hashanah says. Omar Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Hashem says, "Imru lefanei Malchus." Hashem says, "I want you to say um, Malchus in front of me. Why should Tam lechuni aleichem that you should crown me? Zechreinis. I want you to also say Zechreinis. Sheyalu zechreinichem lefanei leteva that my membranes should be in front of you for good. Uba me. How is one mekayim Zechreinis? This is by Shefer with Shefer. So Hashem says, "Say uh, the Gemara says." Hashem says, "Say Malchus in order that." Um, I want you to uh, should, that, that uh, I should I should um, I should want to reign over uh, over you and Zechrein is that I should uh, you should remember me or should remember you with Teva and how with the Shafer. So he says, "Kihin Eireish Hashanah Hu Yim Hu Zayin Chelas Maaseh Has Yikrenu Miyim Dishin." Rosh Hashanah we know as we've mentioned before is the beginning of. The work, which is the current name Rishon, Shnivur by Adam Rishon, Rosh Hashanah, which Adam Rishon was created on Rosh Hashanah. For Amar, we say Hashem Malach is Lavish. Adam Rishon said, we know Adam Rishon was born on Im Shishi, and when he was born, he said, and we said this in 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 the Shir Shalim, Hashem Malach is Lavish. Why? Because then that's when the Malchus of Hashem was was revealed. By Yazab, the source of the Leila Bovad. This was only the level of a Susa de Leila. Now, Ba'achshav, so the first year when Adam Rishon was born, he, um, he says, the, he said, he said the, right away, Hashem, Malach, Gez, Lavish, and that came from Hashem. Hashem wanted to create the world. He didn't need any Hisaitis. Ba'achshav, so he is currently in Rishon. And now we say that remember the first day, which means, Aidei is Susa de Lasata through the aroused hour of Aida. The air is Galo. So this is through uh, to reveal the revelation of the Malchus of Hashem through him remembering the Christus Bris that he made um, in the beginning. What does that mean? This is through the Shefer. Which this is the level of Truvi which this is the crying of the heart from the depths of one heart. The Nekuda is Pnimis Alev from the Nekuda of the Pnimis Alev. Now, sometimes you have words, but those words, they're very, uh, they're external. Then you have something which words can't even bring out, that's the cry of the heart, um, which, uh, which uh, the Kliya is is going to limit. Because it's only a voice. What on Rosh Hashanah we don't speak. What do we do? We just blow the shafer, which is a kol pasha, which is a simple voice. Ushvarim, and we blow the shvarim. Who? Gamkin any any kol? Even the shvarim is also not a not a voice. In the voice, you have different tnuis. You have as Gemara says, ganuchi ganiach. You have different uh, sounds of how the voice should be. That's because Api Allah, we don't know exactly what the sound should be, so we so we practice and we uh, and we do a combination in order to be eight to all the shittas. But the point is, is that on Rosh Hashanah, on Rosh Hashanah we're saying Zayim Chilas Maasecha, because on Rosh Hashanah is in the Zgal of the Malchus of Hashem, um, and we have to bring that Zikaron, um, to bring that remembrance of why Hashem created the world the first year. That's Christus Bris that he made between us. And how do you do that? This is through the Shafer. <laughs> if the idea of the Shafer, this is the Prima Salev, which a voice cannot, uh, which a regular speech will be magma. Now, we'll be at Vodanim to explain this. If we say, So, David Amal writes in Tehillim, L'cha Amal Libi, we say bakshu fana. What does that mean? Panai. What does panai mean? Hainu primis alev. This is the primis of the heart. Kihine yesh primas sakas alev beis primas. In the level of the crying of the heart, you have two levels. Primas primis and gam primas chitenis. So in the crying of the heart, you have two levels. You have the primis of the heart and you have the external part of the heart. Now chitenis alev. The external part of the heart, who nimshach, 
min hadas these binding gus Hashem these pashas are in say baruchu al hanivrein. Now chetzeni saliv. How does that come to be? That comes to be through a person contemplating the greatness of Hashem and how Hashem is uh, or in safe on the Nivrain the Havis Ma'in Liyesh called Tzua Hashem Ma'in Malyenim Hashem created Ma'in Liyesh all the all the all the um, constellations in the in the heaven Ba'aretz V'chol Asher Bo so a person thinks that Hashem is Ar'in Saif and he created everything Ma'in Liyesh and Ubatuvi Mechadish V'chol Yotav Ma'asir Reishis V'atam Chayis Kulam so a person thinks into these psukim and thinks into these ideas. So the more a person contemplates and how great Hashem is, so a person will that have like the cry of the heart, and afterwards to be drawn after, and then we'll have a thirst Hashem. So that's the first way. The first is that the tzaka chetzeni saliv. Very, it's very systematic. A person thinks into how great Hashem is, and eventually he'll uh, he'll have a tzaka saliv. Zel achre Hashem yechu, and this is what it means. He says in Ishaya, after Hashem you should walk like a lion which roars. That there's this uh, roaring in the level of chetzeni saliv. Uchinas achre Hashem yechu ka'arye. This is the level of Achar Hashem Yechul Ka'ariye Shem Markov Al Yena Pnei Ayel Amin, and this is Vehem Kol Machni Mechol. This is the level of Mechol Machni Mechol Sha'avi Dosam Sha'a Gosam Hu Ela Yemin that their Avoda and their, and their roaring is the level of the right. Pkinas Ava the level of Ava. The Goygal Ahavosam Uchukosam the Bottle of Kolo Berinse Baruchu Hamahave Umechay Aisam. And they're great, the great, their the, the avas and their chukah to be battled to Hashem is very great. Why? Because they contemplated in the creation of Ayin Liyesh. And they're contemplating how Hashem gives them chayas every second. So the Alter Rebbe says, even though this is a very high level, but however, this is all called the level of the external part of the heart. Which is taken from the level of the ray of the order of Hashem. So even though a person, like we said, he has it's a great avodah and it's a great level to reach, but it's only the level of ziv. It's only the level of a ray of Hashem. It's not the essence. Hashem, he himself is is, is uplifted. He's exalted. Like it says, Hashem is exalted. Only Kinnis Kashmir Levadi. Shafilu Shmei, even the level of the name of Hashem, who Kinnas Levadi, it's alone. The Leis Machshavat Visa Be, no thought really understands Hashem. Ani Hashem Leishan, he says, I am Hashem, who never does not change. Ksiv. Who may create Hashem never Elam, who Shmei Levadi? You can choose Bar Machabach. The Maimon, like it says, Hamelech Hamerimam, Levadi Meoz, Ham Meshubach. What does that mean? Right, we say in Yitzchir, Hamelach Hamrim Levademiyos, Hameshubach Hamefer, Hamstasim Meselam. What does that mean? Peter Shmei Oz. What does it mean, Meoz? Poidim Shnevra Elam. Before the Hashem created the world, Haya Pchinas Hamelach. He was the he was the level of Melach. Shu Pchinas Shmei Pchinas Levade Mudo. Now, the Gam Atos she Shmei Elam. He called Mokim Harim Meshubach Hamefer, Hamstasim Mehem, Shen Mispashet. That even there's a world now, Hashem is still uh, praised and he's exalted, and he doesn't really enclose himself in the world in a, in a revealed way. Like it says in Parshas Barasanon, just like the the um, the teva of fire is mistalik, the parts the mila, the same thing. But any year the it does not come down and spread. He explains like this: Kihine kol ashba mamshachem erin seif baruchu beilameis. All the ashba mamshachas of erin seif in this world. Upchinas yirida v'ishtashlos mamachim gavel mamachim nachem mamach. Upchinas ma'im. So all the ashba that comes down to this world is a yirida, which comes from a very high place to a low place, which is like water. V'lo yishayach ze ella achar kama minit tzimtzumim v'islabish erid b'madrega shenis. 
Umasachim Rabbis Lahalim Lahasti Gilei Lehusi Yisparach Bechayde Vatsme Shalom is Betayim Lehi Kaloi Hayu Vyasri Lahim Vyafu So you need many different Tzimtzumim and many different contractions and many different levels to conceal over this Gilei Lehikus in order that the world should not become bottle and go back to the way it was originally to get the essence of Hashem, that you can't have any Hashem. Lay together, Mali, lay together, save him. Not Mali, not save him. That's what we say. The God Elyon, claim Hashem, Ram, Venisa, the Gavayim, is much higher than the world. And from there, that's, and from there, this level, you're able to get the level of Tzakas. Higher than understanding. You don't separate from the Yichud and the Achaz of Hashem. That your heart is always burning. Now, this is what we said to you, Hashem, my heart. Bakshu fanai. What does it mean? Request fanai. Primius halev. This is the primius of the heart. Aidei asponecha avaya vakish. How do you get to the primius halev? Is through asponecha avaya vakish. What does that mean? Ki mchinas achre avaya yelchu. Mchinas achre hanaziva oro. If you only get the level of achre of the achre avaya yelchu, the level of ziv. Then you can only get to the level of chitzenis halev. As we said, that's very systematic. But we're saying, what are we saying? I request your face. I want the tzaka from the pnimi salev. Through this comes the level of avaya vakish. Which is Hashem. And this is the level of bechol meidecha. This is what we're saying to him. From the depths I call out to you. What does it mean? From the depths of the heart. That's why we say, why do we say, because the um, Aveda of Rosh Hashanah is the Aveda of Umkadaliba, the Aveda of the second level, of Tzaka Salev. Because through the through the Tshuva of the depths of the heart, Kida Vomar Ozbos Hashem, so through this, I did So through becoming bitter, and that you're so far from Hashem, this will be meir the ma'ila krosich Hashem to go from concealed to gilei. She's galav kenas primis machosi is barich aleinu that we should be able to get the level of primis aleinu ma'anas mochikosu meidach Hashem nearly. This is the idea of. So that's the, we explained the shayfer. What's the idea of zechreinis? When you say remember, that means something which is, you have to remember if it's very distant from you. That's what we say in Rosh Hashanah, you remember all the Ma'asai which is very far from the light of Hashem. Now, we arouse the remembrance of the Pneumius of Hashem, how I dare Shaper Shukala Yes, the Pneumius of this is through the Shafer, which is the Kail of Pneumius Alev. So, what we said in Gimel is, we said in Gimel that, um, that the Gemara says, Hashem says, say Malchi is in front of me in order that you should crown me, should come to Chunya Alechem, and you should say Zechrenis in order that uh, it should be remembered, the Fun and the Teva, Hashem says, and how is Shafer? So, we said, that Rosh Hashanah is the day that Hashem created the world, and in the beginning, like Adam Rishon said, Hashem Melech, Hashem Melech, Yehus Lavish, which was Nizgal, the Malchus of Hashem, which Hashem didn't really need any Yisairus. But, on Rosh Hashanah, we're telling the Ebesh, as you the Yom that uh, you should remember the, the bris, the Christmas bris that we had. And how is this done? This is through Shefer, which is the level of Chubi Yilah, which is Tzakas Akeom Unku Deliba, from the famous Alev, which is even higher than any words, which words, uh, which words will limit it. And then we explains that what does it mean the Chama Libi Bakshu Fanai, which is the level of Pnimi Salev. So we said that there's two levels. You have the Chitzeni Salev. The Chitzeni Salev, we said that's very systematic, that through a person contemplating in the greatness of Hashem, how Hashem creates everything, Ma'ayin Liyesh, and the Vatum Mechadish Vachoyim Tom and So through that, and contemplating properly, 
his mind will be expounded and he'll be able to draw the level of Tzachah Salev uh, to cry to Hashem and to connect to Hashem. And that's what it means, Achra Hashem Yechul Ka'ari Yishek, that this is the level of Chitzene Salev, um, and which is a very, very high level, but it's only, it's, it's far, it's only, Chitzene Salev is only the Ziv. But Hashem, Bechvede Vatzme, is much higher. Um, like it says, HaMelech HaMerim Levad HaMiyaz, HaMeshubach, and um, the idea of Rosh Hashanah, the idea of, uh, of uh, Rosh Hashanah is the idea of the Chom Alibi Bakshu Fanai, which is the Pnimi Salev through, um, like we're saying, Espanecha Avaya Avakish, that uh, and that's what we say in the Mamakim for Yasicha Hashem, and we say this Dafka on Aser Simei Tshuva, because through Tshuva of, from the depths of the heart, that you're very far from Hashem, so through that will be Ma'ir, um, Kerasicha Hashem, which is the, the second level of the Umku Daliba, um, which is from the Pnimi Salev, and that's the idea of the Shefer and the idea of Rosh Hashanah.